and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Ria and I'm a YouTuber based in Ireland. I have my friends with me today. This one is popular. But this one, you have not seen her at all on this channel. Please, can you introduce yourself? But they've seen her on a vlog. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Kamso. I'm based in Dublin, Ireland. I'm a master's student of finance. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. wahala. <laughs> Please, my dear, introduce and it yourself. Is me, the one and only Grace. Uh -huh. Hi, bestie. God, it's your nails for you. It's your nails for me. Hi guys, welcome back again to another YouTube video. And in today's video, I don't know what the title is going to be, but we're going to be talking about everything, sacrifices in relationships, in friendships. I have a couple of questions. Actually, this video was kind of inspired by in Danny TV. There is a real talk, um, whatever that they did of recent and I watch it and be like, you know what, I should kind of have this conversation with my friends and kind of like see what they think concerning this particular topic. I hope that you guys stay tuned and you enjoy this video. So guys, the very first question I have here is for Grace. It's for the both of you have tried it. For Grace. It's for the both of you. Okay, the very first question I have here is, what does sacrifice mean to you? Um, to me, sacrifice is like inconveniencing, not inconveniencing, but giving mm. up something for someone. Why did you use inconvenience something? as first? Living, going out of your comfort zone yeah. to do something for somebody. I feel like sacrifice is deeper than just helping a friend. Mm. You're sacrificing, you're giving up something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you're giving up your sleep or you're mm. giving up time. your food or your time. Yeah, money. Time, time is okay, but like giving up your something that you... Like oh, yeah, 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 to be able to oh, do yeah. something for someone. Mm, okay. Yeah. Comes, what do you, what does sacrifice mean to you? Okay, so as she has said, yeah, sacrifice is just basically going out of your way to do something for someone. Like, mm. what you wouldn't have thought you would do. Mm. Like, but yeah, giving up something just for to somebody. make someone happy or comfortable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And have you, like, you know, sacrificed for someone? Are you somebody that can sacrifice for? Your friend, your partner, your family. Yeah. Are you someone that can do that? Yes, actually, for my friends. Yeah, because I am someone who is very, very intentional about friendships. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my friends usually say I do friendship like relationship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, a lot of times I've sacrificed a lot for my friends, and they've also done the same for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So yeah. say you're not married, but close to getting married, probably engaged or something, and mm -hmm. then. And there is the talk of probably living your, you have a life here, you have your career here, you have mm -hmm. everything here, and then oh, yeah. having to move. That's a good one. Probably the man is in Canada. He yeah. also has a very stable life. He's perfectly okay. <laughs> Both of you can sponsor yourselves anywhere you are. Would you leave? Would you drop off everything you have built over the years? <laughs> <laughs> Would you sacrifice everything you built over the years just to go out? That's outside? a tough one. That's that's okay. the sacrifice yeah. actually. I feel that's like it depends on what I am going to meet today. Like you actually don't know where you're going you don't to meet. Like you started the crush. Only the husband is sure that I'm going to meet there. Like I don't know other things. Yeah, you don't know anybody don't know there. Now. It's just me really that you're just going to a new country for the first time. Yeah. So you don't know. Just you don't know husband. how the work um, system is there. You don't, you don't Do you know, know I've actually been thinking about this myself. Like this question that you've actually you asked. Yeah. Just it's something that I have been reasoning. Honestly, I feel like there's a lot of like checks on it. Honestly, it's not something that I can just carry my bag <laughs> and just be going just because. Because like you said in the question, you've already built the career yeah. where you are, you're already exactly. known for something. It's such a tough one. It's it's when, tough one. You know, marriage is involved. It's not just being like, oh, you're my boyfriend, I'm your girlfriend. Because it's marriage. Yeah. It's really tough. Because if you don't move it and he doesn't want to move, it now turns to a long distance kind of marriage. Yeah. It's really it's, it's a tough. Um, I feel it's very it's very hard step to even decide if your career is not flexible. Say if you're a doctor or you're in you're a nurse. Those you ones you can always yeah, yeah, yeah you exactly. can always you just, yeah. yeah. But if your career is a bit rigid and maybe you're flourishing very well in this country, that's yeah. where your career does more. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And you've already so, made something well for yourself. You don't want to go where you just like put your life at the post like. 
But just we have not answered this question. Like, <laughs> actually, okay, let me answer. For me, for me, I feel like considering the fact that we, we like, <laughs> like I asked, like, like I said in the question, he's comfortable where he is. I'm comfortable where I am. At some point, we'll have to start a family. I would want children in the future. Yeah. So we need to pick a city that is favorable to for both of you. Children. Let the both of us live. Exactly. Let the both of us live. Side. 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 Then we'll start a fresh. No one will be angry. It's not pay anybody. Because <laughs> it, it, it actually leads to problems. Because let's say yeah. three, three mm-hmm. months, six months, you get down the line. Maybe you still haven't settled. You've not gotten a job yeah. or anything. You and you already supported. exactly not even you start feeling somehow with yourself you will yeah. probably even be and, upset and that for someone like i should me. have been way way better than where i am yeah. but then I, i'm probably not doing anything for myself and especially you are the kind of person that if you don't do the things you love for a day or like for two days or even a week like you feel very, you feel very bad exactly and that's the kind of person i, like I am work. honestly like actually like to work. days that i don't go to work i actually feel somehow like i feel somehow unproductive exactly i know i deserve rest but mm. there's some time you just ah, I'm because you always feel like maybe yeah, money is not coming in and 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 like <laughs> me i, I shall know to, that mm. to answer I, I most likely would move because the because of the fact that it's marriage and i hate the fact that i don't know there's just this i don't know if it's just me but there's just this subconscious thing at the back of our minds especially as nigerians and africans that in situations like this, the, the woman, woman is always the one that has to move, mm-hmm. and I don't like that thing one bit. For me, so for some move, <laughs> you move, <laughs> me I move. Let's go and start that fresh somewhere because it's not going to be fair. You're doing well somewhere, I'm doing well somewhere, and I have to. That's move. where the sacrifice comes in. One person has to sacrifice to go and be in the comfort of. That means my own person. sacrifice has limits. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so the other, you rather he comes. Though. I rather we we'll both move out. <laughs> Because <laughs> honestly, there's this, there's this. I feel that. like we still have to, uh, for for also like for me and my husband mm. in that situation. I think we still have to think long term. Can his okay job fine? Can well. his job it actually can. sustain for a long? Term My that, that you know, that a job is not that. security. Exactly, job Let's is start not from there. You could be here today and it could go tomorrow. It could go tomorrow. It's not definite. It's not, if it was a business, it's not that permanent. Could, like, even a business itself could crash. Could crash. Honestly. Like nothing so, is certain. We really have to think of backup plans. That's just. There is this mm-hmm. couple that I know of. Like the lady was in Ireland, and the husband was in the UK. He, she was a doctor, him too, was also in like the health field, they were both doing well individually They were in the whole long distance marriage thing till he hooked them Like it was up to 5 years, they haven't given birth because it was very hard for them yeah. She had to move and like it was her living her whole life here, everything oh, that hey. she has built but she still had to move. Why didn't he move? But why didn't they both move? <laughs> both move to a different state, a different country. Let's say if he's in Canada, she's in Ireland, they should go to UK. Let's <laughs> merge. Yes, pick the middle. I feel at that point you begin to look at, don't look at yourself, or he shouldn't look at himself. Or where he is right now, she look at now. Okay, the family that we're about to bring. Yeah. Which yeah. place is more comfortable? Where will it be easier for our children to get papers? Where would yeah. you know all those yeah. things? Yeah. 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 Because you both of you are considering yourself. <laughs> you both are for me. You both are considering yourselves. You both be very selfish about it. So sure. probably if that's why I said child think long you know. term. Yeah, like, think long term and don't just make decisions based on. Just but you I never say. know. <laughs> that's the thing. You could actually think long term. You could actually say, oh. Your side looks more favorable than my side. Yeah, and like, the future. We can make plans. Mm. The future is not certain, but mm. you could make plans and work with it. Like, I, have, I have another question. Yeah, oh yeah. So, <laughs> so on this relationship as well. So imagine you have a long term partner, probably by up to the I, I use engagement because pretty serious at that point. So probably yeah. already engaged at that point and mm. maybe your partner is going through some sort of um, emotional crisis and then he's beginning to doubt his religion so he's considering islam but then he's still a christian or he's already a Christ- he's already islam but he's considering switching to christianity and um like he's going through that phase it's that a phase that you know yeah but he's not sure what's going on maybe something with really terrible happened okay and then that's causing him to like doubt a lot of things mm-hmm. and all those going on so like what's how would you link push your sacrifice to that point would you be patient enough to like help him go through that thing or whenever he's going to the mosque to probably pray or whenever he's going to church to pray you're you're just like how would you react to it? how would you take it would you 
what what kind of what's the limit to that sacrifice that you give for like for starters i just feel like you should actually decide before you actually give me a ring because it would be very unfair to put me in such situation where especially if i'm a christian and you know where i stand you know what i believe in and probably i've had this discussion that in my family let's say i want a christian home right yeah. mm-hmm. If you're transitioning and you're still trying to find yourself, like that's okay. We could be doing that when we are both boyfriend and girlfriend. But once you've given me a ring, you've already put me in a very tight corner. In the sense that, what if I don't agree to support you being whatever you finally choose? What happens to our relationship? No, say say the thing happened after he had proposed to you. Say whatever hit him in life hit him after, after. the proposal. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I can't answer that question because I'm the one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, before being in the relationship. No, no, no. no, 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 no. You were a Christian. You, okay, Christian. in your yes. case, you're a Christian. So let's say he's a Christian. Yeah, I just use the same for people who are also. And he friends. wants. I don't yeah. even get the person. No, you're a Christian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's also a Christian. But you are now engaged. Mm-hmm. Something really bad transpired mm-hmm. in his life, and it's making him doubt his faith. Yeah. Yeah. He's beginning to think <laughs> Islam, Christianity. He's going or another religion. He's going. He's not chosen. He has not chosen a path yet. Okay. How so that means he still has faith, not just in Jesus Christ, not just in Christ. Yes, there's still faith that there's there is faith. a God. Or maybe there might be no faith. You have to have a response. You have to have a response. Because I was going to say that. I was going to say. I'm trying to even wonder what made him stand out. Something you don't know. Something life happened. Some, maybe. Like, yeah. I know life hits people that they doubt God and that kind of thing. But like doubting to the extent that. You are now living your like you are at the point of happens. Now living, yeah, it happens. It happens. To another religion. Yeah. Okay. What? I don't have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't have an answer. <laughs> that's me. Yeah. That's a very tough one. I will try. I can't really do anything. I can't decide for him. No. But I'm going to. You know, I mean, yeah. At that point, you're sacrificing. So, what's the limit to which you can sacrifice? Would you still stay by, stick by him, truth be canteen, or would you be one leg in, one leg out, or you're you're done? Like, you're just done. You can't be with somebody as uncertain. But mind you, it's just a phase. This one is just a tough one. I don't know why you're getting this question. It, I just came up with a lot When the question, question came to my head, I was going to say, yeah. you switch to Islam. Oh, everybody's going to be bail now. I, mean, I would bail if you switch to Islam. I mean, I'm going. I can't. I yeah, that, that, like, that yeah. goes to faith. It's something that you can't really yeah, compromise like that. So, it's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's a lot. But, that's but I want I to also really understand that. I want to, like, for the fact that you're saying that one, he's not really sure. Yeah. So it's a phase that he's just trying to transition. So it could still be that he could still end up being a Christian. Yeah. But to what extent do I have like how patient can I be? Exactly. And how and how I lack attitude that. in that how, phase. How patient like, can I be? How like what's what's the phase like to him? Like how is he dealing with the phase? Like you know some people go through some things and they are done. Like they they like Subconsciously, they just decide and make up their mind that oh, this Christianity, I'm done with it, I'm moving. So, in that case, like, okay, fine, it looks like nothing can be done to help you out or attitude too. Yeah. In that phase, like, how he's seen it, like, is there any room for change? Yeah, exactly. Like, or he has made up his mind, so he has made, 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 made up his mind, he has not he's just trying to transition. And this as his way. wife, I want to as his wife, which as his wife, and as his wife, and I'm not saying that that's a wife. Oh, yeah, let's see what even. Oh, now you are, you are. <laughs> and let's say there are, there are one or two kids inside. Yeah, <laughs> so let's say one. Ah, it's, not, it's not hard though because their family is where the wife or the man is a Christian and then the wife or the man is the is the Muslim. You call Those your kind children. of. Can, <laughs> no, and sometimes there are children that some of them will follow the way of the mom, some of them will follow the way of the dad or not follow Why the way of the happy, happy, like, it won't be happy. But that's not the kind of family I envision yeah, for that self. Like, let's not imagine it. <laughs> no! It's just like waking up and the person you married has turned another. <laughs> if, it, if it's an engagement stage, ring, ring, engagement ring is not defined. Not defined. Can be not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can so be done. For how long? I don't want to deceive myself. Yeah. How long can I be In that phase, I'll probably be, I'll be very patient, but like my patience would have time. Time into you will not know. I may not tell you the time in your face because you can't be timing somebody's face. <laughs> but sure. then my patience in my head will have a time frame. I'll give you the grace to figure out. So what if after you now leave him, 
that he now agrees to be a Christian. And the problem we can good luck to you and your Christianity, but the fact that you you did not agree earlier. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> now first of all, are you in a relationship? Are you in a relationship? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, but, were you once in a relationship before? Yeah, I was. And you? Was yeah, I was here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just try to answer this question for me, please. If you and your partner, let's say the both of you have been living in a very luxurious, you know, apartment, luxurious lifestyle, everything was going well, everything was great and all, and all of a sudden, things turn bad, right? <laughs> it's not as luxurious as it used to be, the money is dropping, business is going bad, it's not going as smooth as before, and your partner says, oh, you know what, I feel like maybe we should move to like a cheaper place or a place that doesn't live up to what with your standard you. what you have started with are you willing and let's say you have the money to actually cater for let's say the house rent you you have like the money to pay the house rent for you guys to you know continue living in that lifestyle would you rather give the money to your husband to continue that lifestyle or would you rather go um look for a cheaper low um mm -hmm. first question yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we're in this luxurious yeah, yeah. Land, when we're really having this luxurious luxury were we splitting the bills yeah or he was the one paying let's say he was the one paying oh, okay okay yeah if he was the one paying no problem i don't mind covering for a few like for the duration of time till like he gets yes, back on his feet mm. but if you if it was that we're splitting the bills before obviously <laughs> <laughs> no. i don't mind going so if you were splitting the bill if you guys are splitting bill right and this happened to him and he's not able to live up to his own end of the bargain you won't be able to give everything like the hundred percent to accommodate both of them. Well, how long is it going to be for that? And that's one thing. If we, if we are going to be living it's, this it's long, it's unforeseen. Like you guys, till he gets back his balance. Let's say for, he's out of job or out of business. And for us, even be splitting the bills in the first place, that means yeah. probably the body was. Oh, you, oh, now you're saying that one person can cover the whole thing. Like I'm covering yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. So yeah. would you like <laughs> give out your savings and everything to cover? Oh no, giving out my savings. No, I don't think I'll be. I'll go that far. To be honest, mm -hmm. this is going your husband. To, yeah, going to a a living in the luxury mm. is fine and everything, but doesn't make like wherever you are can be luxury in its own sense. Yeah. Like you yeah. can live a a what what they call that thing a what they call the topmost of a penthouse. We can live a penthouse and go to a, a very nice apartment. Mm. That that's fine so long as there is no inconvenience. Mm. Obviously, the penthouse will be there for like the luxury and the beauty and the aesthetics and everything. Yeah. But like you're giving up savings for the future and spending all of it on just that. You begin to feel the pressure with time mm. if all these um, expenses becomes on just one person. So I don't think that it's something I don't mind moving. Yeah. Unless you don't mind moving, yeah. No, so, no, like, no. so for me, I feel like this is where communication and sense of reasoning comes in. Like, mm. like she has said, can live anywhere as long as we are comfortable. It doesn't have to be all that mansion. Like we don't have to splurge on maintaining the big mansion where we can mm. go to like. So a, wait, let me let me get this. Is this about both of you just trying to live anywhere just because you don't want to sacrifice your money? Yes, I think that, it's that about, because I'm it's trying about, to yes. For I me, that. I don't want to sacrifice all no. my money for the luxury when initially we were both splitting, right? So we were yeah. both yeah. we go hard our own yeah. it. And then now you want to put all the body has to be on me now. Yeah. And it's for an indefinite time. Mm. No. That's I feel good. like it's about allocating your resources based on priority. That's just it. Mm. It's not about I don't want to sacrifice or I don't mm. want to carry the burden. It's about both of us putting reason to it because this is going to be for an indefinite time. So yeah. you won't want to put your head and be hooked. Mm. So you just better sit and reason it and allocate your resources properly. So that's okay. It. So if it was not like an indefinite time, let's say it was for a couple of months, three, four months, would you still sacrifice or would you move? 
If I'm trying to be reasonable, we'll still move because it may it may happen again. It may reoccur again. So mm. like that may that may save us future like stress of having mm. to make that decision That's again. But if I'm not being considerate, please let's leave there. I don't mind I'll pay the money for the few months yeah. if I'm able. It's just for a few months, no problem. I'll go yeah. right and then we we'll still have the luxury mm. but mm. if I'm trying to be reasonable about it, then yeah, we should still move. Like it can happen to me as well and then yeah, yeah so yeah, things are still unpredictable, so you can't just act based on what you are just seeing. Like there are still a lot of things ahead that might come ahead, so yeah. it's just better, like just I said, move. set your priorities. Yeah. Oh, okay. Your priorities. Okay. okay. So in all and all, we are all saying that we can actually sacrifice in friendships, relationships, yeah. but there is going to be a limit. Yeah. So yeah. what you can actually sacrifice for you. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. We probably agree on the same thing then. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any point you think that you agree or disagree with any of us, you could leave it down in the comment section. And yeah, it was also quite hard deciding what we we're doing. It was quite hard because yeah, yeah because it's it very touchy. It's a touchy yeah. one. It's a very yeah. very sensitive um, take. Topic, yeah. yeah, but let us know what you guys would do down in the comment section. Actually. Want to read, want to listen. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much, Grace, for you know, as coming always. on this channel always. and helping me, you know, do this video and also counsel. Fine, counsel. Thank you very much, counsel, for gracing us with your presence on this channel. Like. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell down there. My name is Ria. I'm Grace. I'm Kamso. And we love you guys. Wow. Bye guys. Make sacrifices today. <laughs> <laughs>